four, check. Okay, so today I'm wearing shorts. If you would like to wear shorts uh, that are high waisted, maybe and comfy. Uh, these are from like I think these are from Mark's warehouse. Okay, so we're gonna do the routine that I do every day, and then we're gonna do something different. I'm going to follow along with my course and they're going to do tree pose and he's going to, you know, do step by step the proper way to do tree pose. So that's today's video. Okay. So first things first, we're going to go into pigeon. Let's go down on your knees. <clears throat> Bring your right knee up and your left leg stretches back. Engage your core. I always like to push up on my hands right here. Kind of give myself a twisty. Anyway, that's a little extra. <laughs> uh, bring your chest to your knee and then fold your arms. I'm wearing a copper necklace today. I got it in town actually at Just Peachy for like $5. Okay, we're going to go to the next, the other leg. So bring your left knee up and then stretch your right leg back. Wow, that was the first time that I never got a cramp in my hip. That was nice. Engage your core, take a breath. Bring your chest down to your knee. And fold your arms. <laughs> okay, we're going to go into down dog. All fours. Balls of your feet, palms of your hands. Engage your core. Okay, we're going to lift the right leg as high as you can for as long as you can. Focus on your breath. And then we're going to bring that foot in between hands, pivot the left foot to support, and then we're going to come up into Warrior One. Ta-da! Oh, it is such a beautiful day today. I'm going to go for a walk later. Okay, so engage your core. Arms up. Head up. Taking a breath. And as we exhale, we're going to go into Warrior Two. Take a breath, stretch out your arms to the sides. Okay, we're going to go into triangle. So my right wrist is going to go down to my right ankle and the left arm is going to go up to the sky. And you might get some snap, crackle and pops like I do all the time on this. And then look up if you can to your left thumb and take a breath. Okay, we're going to go down into the fold. I engage my core here and release all the tension in my shoulders and my neck. crack my neck that's a bad habit don't do that oh now my headed 
Okay, we're going to go and do the other side now. <clears throat> okay, downward dog. Balls of the feet, pressure there, and palms of the hands. Engage your core. Take a breath, and then we're going to lift the left leg. As high as you can, for as long as you can. Oh. Okay, we're going to bring that foot in between the hands. Oh. Okay, then we're going to twist the right foot to support. And we're going to come up into warrior one. Take a breath. Arms up. Head up. Okay, in an exhale, we're going to go into Warrior Two. Okay, arms out to the sides. We're going to go down into Triangle now. Did I go on the left or the right last time? I think I went on the left. No, I didn't. Okay, so my right wrist is going to go down to my right ankle. And my left hand is going to go up to the sky. Sorry, I just got a little confused there. <laughs> Okay. Hold it and look up to your thumb if you can. <sighs> okay. Now I'm going to put on my course. It's called Yoga Renew. Meaning, it's in the same line of poses as Warrior Two, an extended side angle, and triangle pose. The only difference is that instead of standing on two legs, you're standing on one leg. Let's look at some key alignment points for tree pose. The first thing is that even though you're balancing on one leg, that one leg will have the same alignment principles as Tadasana or Mountain Pose, meaning that it's a straight leg and your standing foot is spread from your heel out through your big toe and your pinky toe. The other leg is going to turn out, making it an open hip standing pose. Once the leg is turned out, the leg lifts above the knee joint meaning that your foot will rest on your inner thigh anywhere between your pubic bone and your knee. Okay, so bring Make your... Make sure that your toes are pointing down up towards your to ankle. your thigh. From there, the arms go out and up overhead, classically palms together. Squeeze those elbows to straighten your arms. The gaze is straight out ahead. Let's take a look at those same alignment principles on the other side. The standing leg is just like the dasana, straight. The lifted leg turns out, making it an open hip standing pose. The foot now lifts above the knee joint toes facing down towards that bottom ankle. Your arms can go out and up overhead. Squeeze those outer elbows in to straighten your arms.
let's look at a few great modifications for tree pose. The first one that we're going to look at is excellent for beginner level students who have a difficult time balancing on one leg. So take your lifted leg and turn it out to the side. Now, instead of lifting this leg off the floor, we simply rest the heel above the ankle of the bottom leg and the ball of the foot and toes stay on the floor. This action still gives us the open hip, just like in the full tree pose, but it keeps both legs on the ground, making it a little more accessible for students who have trouble balancing on one leg. From here, the arms go out and up, just like the full version, squeeze those elbows in, and get nice and tall. Let's take a look at this modification on the other side. Take your right leg out, rest your heel above your ankle of your standing leg, the ball of your bottom foot on the floor. The hips and the pelvis is in an open position, and then take your arms out and up. Tree pose. Let's look at another great modification for teaching tree pose. In this version, instead of bringing the palms together overhead, we're going to keep the arms shoulder distance wide or possibly wider. This modification is excellent for students who have a tight upper back or tight shoulders. It gives them more space in their arms and their chest by not having their palms fully together. Let's look at this modification now. You'll take one leg out to the side, lift it up above the knee joint. Now take your arms out and up. Notice that my palms aren't together, but my arms are still fully straight and extending up towards the ceiling. Let's look at that same modification on the other side. Take your right leg out, lift that foot above your knee joint, toes face down towards your inner ankle. All right. Well, that is video number four. Thanks for watching.